This pretty girl, Lauren Weston, is up to something pretty sweet. Thank you so much. And Lauren, you are the proud owner of Sweet Delicious Sweets. How does it feel to say that, sweetheart? It feels amazing, honestly, and I'm still kind of in shock that this is happening. Well, this baker figured out the perfect recipe to whip up a serving of success. Because Lauren literally turned something sour into something sweet. I had a job and they let go of me randomly, just trying to find something that I was good at that I didn't have to worry about a job. The 24 year old businesswoman no longer wanted someone else to be in control of her destiny and her sustainability. Lauren wanted to be her own boss. I started baking and I really fell in love with that. So pastries was her big push. And with steady preparation and strategic planning, Sweet Delicious Sweets was born. Lauren took a leap of faith and opened the doors in October during the pandemic. Now, that takes guts. I put all my money into it. I was really scared about that because I didn't know how things would work with the shutdown. But so far, Lauren's sweet dream has been a wonder to witness. Might I add that according to the customers, the work continues to pay off. Lauren's creations taste terrific. All the love and support that I've been getting from customers coming in. What does that mean to you? It really means a lot. After uh, the article went out, it's, business has been picking up even more. I've been crying all night. Tears of gratitude and joy. Because I really didn't expect it. Like, pinch me, is it real? Yeah. Tell me what your advice would be, Lauren, to people who are trying to figure out a, a new path. It's just to get started and plan out and then keep going and don't stop. I know your wheels are turning. What do you think is next? To get a location uh, in another area. People driving 30, 40 minutes just to come here to get their uh, items. Which means they're worth it. Yes, definitely. Sweet Delicious Sweets is on John R. between 11 and 12 mile in Madison Heights. So if you live nearby, stop on by. If you don't, maybe you can make a detour to grab some sweet treats for you and your family. Congratulations, Lauren, and best of luck to you. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.